Hey! <laughs> um, I haven't sat in this room for a few days, so oh, my desk is like just covered with, I just like gleeked at the camera. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to spit on you guys. My desk is like covered right now with stuff I might possibly want to smear on my face. So, I don't know, I've got this ColourPop Lucky Penny palette too, which looks, oh my gosh, it's still got the stuff in it. I just love the way this looks. So, this kind of started off as like, I was like, oh, maybe I should film like a get ready with me, but I'm not really getting ready for anything, except I do need to take my 25 week picture uh, today outside. So, I'm gonna be doing that. But then I was like, I've been going back and forth in my head. Do I want to put makeup on and like fake lashes and the whole thing when I'm ready to like, like during the, t like around the time when I'm going to give birth to my daughter. And I was thinking, well, I'll just have to see how I feel because I think that that makes a big difference. Like I'm guessing people either already had it on. Like every time I see a picture on Instagram, even if it's someone like an influencer that I follow, I'm like, did you already have that on and you just looked that good? Or did you start going into labor and while you were laboring at home or in the hospital or wherever, you put your makeup on? <laughs> and how would I feel and how, what, 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 I don't know. So part of me thinks that the number one thing for me <laughs> is that eyelashes make me feel very feminine and beautiful. So I'll probably get some eyelash extensions. And then I just thought, yeah, why, why wouldn't I put makeup on if I felt good enough to? I mean, I'm gonna be documenting it, I'm going to be on camera, and you know, I get to look back at these things, so why not? So initially I was like, that's really silly to put makeup on, you don't need to do that, and then I was like, eh, if I feel like it, I will. So today I feel like we're gonna do a little test run of maybe what kind of makeup I would put on, and y'all are probably like, oh, all you need is like a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and that's it, and like, whatever but I'm not that type of person. Like if I'm gonna put makeup on, I put makeup on. Like there's, for me, there's just no, like every time I've tried to just be like, oh, I'm just gonna put like a little like skin tint. And like, I mean, I have hardly any eyebrows. So like brushing these up does nothing for me. And then I'm like, I don't have any eyebrows. <laughs> and so I just keep putting makeup on basically until I have a full freaking face of makeup. So I've just come to terms with the fact that like minimal makeup isn't really typically what I gravitate towards. And so that's what we're, we're not gonna do minimal makeup today. We're just, we're gonna, we're gonna put it on. So, all right. I just got this in the mail recently and had no idea that Tatcha made a liquid version of the silk canvas because if you remember, it used to come in like a little puck thing and you would do this and put it on your face. And I always felt like, oh, the oils from my fingers are now getting all over my face. So I think it's pretty interesting that they made, oh, look at the texture. It's like a lotion. Um, so I think it's kind of cool. Oh, it still smells as good, dude. That stuff was always like, oh my gosh, I'm like, oh, this smells so good. Um, so I'm gonna try this out today. Much easier to put on and work with than their other one. So I'm curious what you guys think. Like, did if you've had a baby before, did you put makeup on? Did you not? Like, what are your thoughts about that without being too judgy? Because <laughs> um, I feel like every time you say your opinion about something, everyone thinks that you're talking about everyone else, but really you're talking about yourself. <clears throat> so the one thing I didn't bring in here is the first thing I need, which is concealer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Derma Blend Flaw. What is this? Derma Blend Flawless Creator Foundation. I've been wearing this one not only because I really like it, but it's one of the only foundations that's pale enough that I have right now for me. I'm really not used to being quite this pale, um, but you know, it is the winter. I was thinking I was gonna use one of my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palettes that I have right here, but I think I'm actually going to use this guy and use this one and these guys in the crease, one of those, I don't know. I was thinking I was gonna do, 
Maybe I'll change this up because, like, I don't know. If, honestly, like, if I was doing this to go into the hospital, I probably would do, like, a matte shade on my eyelid and just, like, a little shadowing with, like, a liner just so it looks a little more natural. But let's give this a go and see how it looks and we'll go from there. So many of my brushes are dirty right now. I seriously need to do some brush cleaning. So this one is shiny objects. I'm just gonna put this on with my finger. So I'm supposed to be in Jackson Hole, Wyoming right now, <laughs> but as you can see, I'm not. Nick snowboards and I've never seen him snowboard, but apparently he used to be pretty good. So he is there celebrating a friend's 40th birthday and he really wanted me to go, but now I'm gonna take token right here. But I, and we even booked my flight and everything and like honestly didn't even cancel it. But literally two days before we were supposed to go, I was just feeling the pressure of like all of the people that have been working on the house, kind of like being in here. And they're also, they worked yesterday and I would have been gone. They were here, they're coming on Monday to kind of do some like walkthrough stuff. And like, I don't know, you kind of need to be here when people are working on your house. Cause they're always asking you like different questions about things. And you kind of have to give your opinion about like placement and like make sure things are like clarified properly. So things don't get done incorrectly. Did that just like wipe all that off? Cause like, look at that versus that. That's weird. So it was good that I was here yesterday to kind of like deal with all that, but it was just funny because like I started thinking about it. I have a sick bullfrog that I'm trying desperately to nurse back to health and help her get over this, whatever it is. I think it's a bacterial infection. Um, if you watch my vlogs, you've seen her and seen me have to like do her injections and stuff. So um, I just wanted to really make sure that that was being done properly. Not that I don't necessarily trust the person that I have caring for my animals now, cause she's great, but I don't know. Like, I feel like a mom about it, you know? Like I wanna do it to make sure it's done exactly right. And I know that it got done when I wanted it to get done. And then aside from that, the place I was thinking about boarding Leo, cause the hotel, in Jacksonville or Jackson Hole doesn't allow dogs. Wah, wah, wah. Um, they like don't believe in email. They like never emailed me back. I'm like, okay. And then when I called, they put me on hold for like 10 hours and I was like, I'm over this. So I didn't have anywhere for Leo to go that I was comfortable with. And I have a lot to do in terms of like this <laughs> working. So I was like, and then I don't, I can't, first of all, I don't snow, snowboard. Even if I wasn't pregnant, I don't know how to snowboard. And um, the one time I did try to snowboard, my ass was black and blue. Like my ex-boyfriend like tried to teach me and I hear that you need to stick with it, but I just like don't really care for things that I can't pick up quickly. Like it frustrates me. <laughs> so I should probably get over that and learn. And I think I should cause Nick does and he loves to snowboard, but Anyways, can't snowboard. And then one of the girls that's uh, put together the trip, cause it was her, it's her husband's 40th. She was like, okay, this is getting a little darker than I think I would wear to the hospital, but let's see how it settles in with the rest of it. She was like, hey, I'm trying to get a head count to, uh, for the um, hot springs. And I'm like, oh, like, that's a great idea. I'm not hating on that, but that's just another thing that I can't do. So pretty much I feel like I'd be sitting in the hotel room the whole time and I really just wanted Nick to have a good time and not have to worry about like coming back to the hotel room to check on me or whatever. And honestly, I don't really like the cold that much. So I can't imagine myself venturing out a whole lot to explore. I was thinking about going by myself to go to Yellowstone Park and seeing all that, but it's freaking cold as shit there right now. I wanna say it was like, negative 13 degrees at night and like 20 degrees during the day. So I'm just like, oh, it's not my cup of tea. So anyways, that's why I'm here. And I am just getting stuff done and it feels good. Actually, I really need to wash my car today. This could be kind of interesting. So I can't find the Cali Ray liner that I wanted to use. I don't know where it is, but this one is called the Deep and it's like, kind of like a dark blue turquoise 
And I think I'm gonna use that and see what happens. Again, I, I don't know. I feel like we're getting away from what I would actually do for my delivery, <laughs> but who knows? Maybe if I really love it, I'll be like, oh, I like the way that looks. I would definitely recreate that. So we'll see. Oh shit, look what I just did. This baby is kicking all my insides right now. Yeah, like I can feel her, oh. I swear I can see it, it's like intense. Hopefully you guys can't hear it, but I was playing, I'm playing jazz in the other room for my reptiles and I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I can a little bit. <laughs> I really like this Cali Ray, these liners. I hope that they make more. I do, I'm a fan of those. I wish I could find the other one. Last time I used the other one, it just like smudged into my lash line like perfectly without me even having to like do anything, which was awesome. Maybe I'll wear one of these right now because that looks like it might actually work. For the pale shade I am, this is the Morphe 2 Hint of Marshmallow. It, this one's fair with neutral undertones. Oh! Is being clumsy part of being pregnant? Because I feel like it has to be. I have gotten more clumsy than usual and it's been annoying <laughs> to say the least it's it's been it's been it's been rough just powdered the crap out of my face because i would if i was <laughs> going into the hospital because i'd probably be sweating a lot trying to push a baby out contour i'm going to use the jouet light to medium bronze duo i love this one i've talked about this one because it has the light one and then the dark one it's good for whether you're white as shit for summer, <laughs> and then a little more tan if you have pale skin. Obviously you would need a different shade if you have darker skin, um, but this one works for me. Did I bring in my contour brushes? <sighs> yes, I did. Okay, so reality TV talk. Have you guys been watching Joe Millionaire? I feel like they were trying to create another Bachelor, which I actually have, been enjoying my stepmom texting she's like have you watched joe millionaire and i'm like no what's that i hadn't even heard of it um so maybe you're in the same boat that i was in when she texted me but basically there are two dudes and the girls on the show there's like 14 or 20 of them or something like that and they're all dating them like they are on the bachelor except there's two of them and they don't know who is who, but one of them is a millionaire and one is not. Not that the other guy is like poor or anything. I don't know their names or else I would reference their names, but one is like a rich cowboy and one is like construction, like owns a construction company. Um, so they do tell you in the beginning who, like as the audience, like you know who is rich and who isn't. And I called it, I called it. I was like, dude, the farmer, he's gotta be the rich one because they're trying to make the other guy look like the rich guy. And that other guy reminds me of my ex-husband's so much. Um, so kind of weird, but they, uh, they date these guys and like you see the girls just trying to like figure out like who the rich one is. So if you're watching it, then I'm so glad that chick who couldn't stop crying all the time finally went home. Like she was crazy. And then I was so shocked that the farmer dude was like, I like, I don't know if he was just like being polite for camera or what, but he kept talking about like, like, oh, well, not kept talking about, but he was like, oh, like it sucks. Like I wanted to get to know her better. And I'm like, wait till you see this show back because I don't think you're going to want to get to know her after you see how she acted with a bunch of the girls in the house. She was just like such a crazy pants, like crying at everything. This is like, <sighs> has seen better days. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I'm just taking, ooh, it's falling out of here. I'm just taking the 
lighter one out of here and I just kind of use that to like highlight the jaw so this is all just stuff that like I just do every time I do my makeup so like I just can't not do it for blush I'm gonna use the Jason Wu um blush it's called 05 sext I'm gonna use mix these two together the reason why I like these ones is because they have a little bit of a sheen to them or like a shimmer a little bit so you don't really have to wear highlighter when you wear these it gives you like a little bit of a glow so I like that because I don't know if I would want to put straight up like highlighter on when I'm going into the hospital or whatever to have my baby, but like a little bit of a glow is nice. Eyebrows, you guys know what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using the brow blade and then this one is the brow beater. They accidentally sent this one to me. So I just use this one for like the first little base, but I'm not gonna talk while I'm doing this. We'll just fast forward because I cannot talk and do my eyebrows at the same time. some uh, Ardell 3D Foaming Lashes. I really like these ones. They're like natural, but not. I love them. And the band is like super like, I don't know, all the Ardell lashes for the most part, like I don't think I've had one where the lash line is like annoyingly like thick. I freaking love these lashes. They're so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna darken this little freckle on my face right here that <laughs> never wants to allow me to cover it. I'm gonna do that with my little brow pencil. Are you guys watching The Single Life? Can you believe that Ed is back with that chick? Literally one episode in Mexico saying that this girl could be his forever and then next he's engaged to Liz again. Oh my goodness. I, I just have no words crazy. I've also been watching Married at First Sight. I don't know when the Australian one's going to come back. That's actually my favorite one. I prefer that one over the U.S. one, but I don't know when that's going to come back. I'm um, using NYX Nude Suede Shoes. I just did a little tutorial on this and uploaded it on Instagram this morning right before I sat down to film, so I guess you won't need it if you're watching this, <laughs> but this lip liner is my go-to. I would say that NYX lip liners are like my favorite lip liners out of any that I've ever used. They're just soft. They're not too sharp. They're not too dull. They go on really well. They're like kind of hydrating. I'm going to use um, some different lipsticks right now than I did in that little tutorial just because I feel like I would want something to stick on my lips a little better as opposed to like a stick if I was in labor giving birth. So this is Catching Feelings by Dose of Colors. And then I'm using Feral Cosmetics Commando in the center for a little bit lighter of a look. That's a little browner than I expected it to be. <laughs> My lip liner is like pink. Hmm, it's not really lighter. Okay, cool. <laughs> Here's the finished look. I feel like this is something that I would do for that. Um, but I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are on that matter. Would you wear makeup when you were giving birth or did you already? Or were you like, no, f this, I'm in a lot of pain, like I don't care. I guess it just really depends on so many different factors, but I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say and like if you guys would. So let me know in the comments below and everything that I use today in this video, I will also link for y'all. And I just did want to let you guys know that I have a blog. If you didn't know, I don't really write a lot of blog posts, but what I do update a lot on there, actually I'll probably write more blog posts once I do have the baby. I just find it fun, even though I'm not really a great writer, I just like to do it. But I do up upload or an update my, um, monthly favorites where I put like a lot of different random stuff that I purchased myself on there. And then it's kind of like my own shopping list. It's just shit that I find that I like. So 
I'll link that for you guys below as well, but I hope that um, the beginning of your 2022 is going well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.